So, yo, another one, OPTV. It's a battle blog right here. We're going to talk about Big T and the nigga Daylight at um, number five. I think um, Daylight going to really, really show up to this to this match versus Big T. Um, I hope, I hope, I hope, um, I hope it's a I hope it's a good battle. I hope Big T comes in and and, and competes. You know what I'm saying? I hope he I hope he keeps up with Daylight. I hope Daylight keeps up with him. But to be honest, I think Daylight's gonna show his ass because Daylight been asking to get on this stage for the last four or five years now. So I think I think he's gonna turn the fuck up. I think Daylight gonna turn this shit up. Hopefully he don't do nothing crazy. The antic don't get too far. And we're gonna we're gonna get into antics after I talk about this. Um with the nigga. J.J with that battle he had with the Stone Cold Stunner that he dumped on a nigga. <laughs> this nigga's crazy, man. Oh my god, what the fuck, yo? But um, I really think um, Daylight gonna, gonna gonna show his ass versus Big T. So I know Big T ready. I know Big T prepared. I know and I know Big T knows and is well aware of his his competition. He knows who's in, he knows who's gonna be in front of him that night. And I, I think he wants to redeem himself for the last couple of battles he's had on Smack. Um, so I think I think that'll be a good one. It's a good look. I'm, I'm glad that um, Smack and Day got whatever situation they got. You know what I mean? Handled and, and, and situated. I hope he gets to perform this time. <laughs> last time we all know we all know that shit didn't go down. So I hope he gets to perform this time and uh, and get it popping. I really do. And uh, we'll, we'll see how that happens. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about that outcome when, after it happens. You know what I'm saying? Um, how many of y'all caught the Daylight vs. Man Child? That was pretty dope. Um, that that dude, I, I never seen him, but you know what I mean? He's a little, little tough, little gangster, little nigga. I mean, little white boy. That was a good battle. Um, I get that shit today, though. 3-0. Uh, um, wasn't no body bag and nothing like that. This is 3-0. Um, how else? Uh, y'all niggas seen... Um, oh, Smack is dropping the um the Briz Rolstein versus A Verb on Wednesday. That's gonna be a goodie. I'm an A Verb fan. I'm a Briz fan. I think that's gonna be a goodie. To be honest, before everybody was talking about all their updates and whatever the, whatever whatever else they were saying, I was already on Twitter talking about Briz was gonna take that. And from what I heard, he did take that. So can't wait to see that on Wednesday when that drop. Um. I really think Briz has a long future in this battle rap shit. However long the battle rap industry survives or, or stays around, I think Briz has has a has a, has his his spot etched in stone in it already. You understand? So it's etched in stone in it already. So I think um him T top out of the whole that that whole little rookies versus vets class. I think him T top. I like prep. Um, but he has to grow on me. I mean, I'm not dissing him. Not he's good. He just has to grow on me more. Um, I hate I hate cats that takes uh, take forever to get to the fucking punchline. B. I'm kind of a just a a T Rex type of nigga. Get straight to it. Boom. Like Briz do. He gets straight to it. Boom. T top. Get straight to it. Street shit. Boom. Charlie Clips too. He gets straight to it sometime. Boom. You know what I'm saying I like niggas that get straight to it. Um. So. I think out of those dudes, no T Top and Briz and, and I, like I said, I, I like Chess, the, the homie Chess. I'm sorry, my bad. I can't forget. I like Chess. I love his energy. I love his ambition, his passion. Um, he did okay against DNA. Like I said, I still gave that shit to DNA though. Uh, two one. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the reason why I say that is because out of um, Chess first was 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 no good, even though you know what I'm saying it, it, it wasn't really his fault. But I still get that to DNA that whole battle. But um, out of that PG class, I think Briz is, is one of the best ones out of them. You know, right after T Top or before T Top, whatever the case is, right after before, uh, those two cats got a got a future ahead of them in this industry. Um, what's up with this nigga Press Mafia, man? This nigga ain't nowhere to be found right now. I heard. I went on Twitter. Mr. Game put no tweets out since last month sometime. You know what I'm saying? Now, did he know niggas was going to pull his card in or is he preparing for something? And what he's preparing for? 
like the next year he spit, do we believe it's his? Do we? I'm just saying, my nigga, like, do we? I don't know. It's fucked up, man. It, put, it puts a real bad taste in a nigga mouth when you hear somebody that you like and, and, and you respect in, in the field of what you what you doing or what you're interested in, and they and it's it's not real. It's like whoa, damn! Like you've been looking at a shorty every day on the bus or the train on your way to work every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. and you see her, she's good looking, everything, and you find out her, 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 her ass is fake or some shit, titties fake. We already know they hair fake, but that's another story. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's just fucked up, man. It's, it's just fucked up, man. Damn, press. My nigga, nigga, you still my nigga though. That shit, shooting Johnny Alcatraz. I seen it. I, I can't call it. I gotta watch it again if I'm gonna watch it again because I don't even know if that's some shit you wrote or some shit you took off another nigga mixtape. Wow, yo. Yeah, man. Niggas gotta, niggas gotta fall back sometime and just think like, what the fuck will happen if these niggas find this out? And what will happen if somebody? Let's guys think for a second, man. Because right now he will not get no love nowhere. And no battle rapper, no battle rap league, nowhere. Niggas knowing he ain't writing his shit. Just saying. And whoever he's going to battle, they're going to shit all over him about that. So that's what he has to look forward to in his next battles now. Niggas shitting on him and and, and, and taking away his credibility. And, and, and him trying to perfect his, his spot and solidify his spot in this shit. And now it's gone. Just because. So we'll see what happens. Now to this um no that's what we're gonna talk about antics when you know when I said hope daylight gonna come with the antics and shit. Speaking of antics, man, um it was entertaining, it was funny. The nigga J dot J, it was cool. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it. You wanna entertain the crowd. You wanna that's what you have that's what it is, that's what it's about, no doubt. But can he do that in every battle? Right? And then and then another thing. With him putting his hands on people or him all up in niggas' faces and doing crazy shit, after a while, a nigga gets sick of that. Like, let's say he goes up, you know, goes up against the wrong cat one night, and this nigga might want to do something to the nigga. J Dot, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my thing is, the, the stunner shit was funny. The white man can't jump, dunking a nigga face. That shit was funny. Yeah, it was funny. But to be honest, it's like, who, who's who's gonna accept that again? Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, who will accept that? D that little white boy, you know what I'm saying? He had no choice. He was scared. You know what I'm saying? He was in a room full of mad, he was in a room full of mad goons. Mad, mad niggas. So, you, you gonna react? I don't think so. I don't even like, what would you do, you little white boy? You in the hood. And this black dude all up on you, he got his, all his niggas, and you just you and your man. I don't know. You know if I'm white boy, I I ain't. <laughs> I'm about to drop this. Like, I ain't reacting. If I'm a little white boy, I don't know. But my thing is, man, how far can that shit go? How far will that antics shit take you? And and who will be the nigga that's gonna get sick and tired of this shit and is gonna retaliate or act back? You understand? But if he was on stage with a with a nigga like a shug, shotgun shug, and he tried to stun him, the fuck you think is gonna happen? Dead ass. What's gonna happen? Come on. He go up there. Try to fucking Stone Cold Stunt T-Rex. Stone Cold Stunner T-Rex. What's going to happen? That's my thing. When, if, or when this guy gets a decent name or a big name, and he tries that, them fucking antic shits, then the nigga react, what's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? You know, we trying to elevate the culture, not, not, not bring the shit down. And I think by, you know, grabbing on niggas and, don't I, I don't want to be a part of your props. You understand? I don't want to be a part of your show. Just rap to me. Don't grab me. Don't stone cold stun me. Don't leg drop me. Don't don't tap my pocket. Like the tap my pocket shit. That's cool. That's light. That's not that crazy. I can take that. I can take you in my face and my ear. But when it comes to all, oh, I'm gonna stun. I'm gonna stun you. Oh, I'm gonna get the basketball and fake dunk. Nah, I'm. Where, where are you showing me your skills at? How are you showing me you better than me in rapping by doing that? So my thing is, how long will that shit last? And is it gonna last? And will J. J. 
will J.J. get another get a serious battle, and will he take it serious? And and not, not taking nothing away from him. He's he's cool. I like him. He's entertaining. He was even saying some hot shit. But my thing is, you know, what I'm saying, if he did that to somebody else and they retaliated, how would that look for the industry of battle rap? That's my thing. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, I'm out. Follow me on Twitter, KOP to God. Leave a comment below. Hit me up. Ask me whatever you want. I'm down to conversate. I'm down to debate. It is what it is. Sports, music, battle rap, whatever. Money, women. We could talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We can even talk about some food. Nigga, we can do food reviews. I'm gonna fuck. Holla at your boy, man. KOP to God, man. BX, man.